Welcome back to the channel everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy. Now if you were not here last week, I will repeat again, we are in the process of exploring the true side of French home cooking. That means we are making the recipes that people in France realistically are making at home, the quick and easy one. This is called la cuisine de ménage. Now if you have people over and you can't be bothered to cook with something too complex but you still want to impress, well, check this one out. This is going to be a simple chicken breast recipe. We're going to coat them in mustard with cream, with thyme, a bit of pepper, and cook them en papillote. That means into a parcel. So when it's ready, you cook it in the oven, and people are going to open the packet and wow, it's like a surprise. Let's go. <laughs> Now I'm sure you all had that moment where you get friends over, you don't want to make too many efforts, you wonder what am I going to cook tonight? And if you have chicken breast, even in the fridge, you think, well, the chicken breast, but I haven't cooked them, like pan fried, it's boring. So this is a welcome addition. I'll give you the recipe for four, I'm just using three chicken breasts because I don't need to make tons, don't want to waste anything, but this is easy. So chicken breast, the mixture we're going to use to coat the chicken is going to be mustard, it's Dijon mustard and creme fraiche, creme fraiche. What we have here, crème fraîche, it's a thick kind of thing. It's a thick affair, you see? It's not liquid. It's very important because we need to make a paste. Mixed peppercorn and then thyme. Fresh thyme is the best, it's from the garden and that we're gonna sprinkle over. But that's about it. For the cookware, like we're gonna use a frying pan because I'm gonna sear this ever so slightly. That was not part of the recipe, but this is important. Four square of parchment paper or uh, kitchen paper, baking paper, doesn't matter how you call it. And that's about it. So let's get started. And now let's start the recipe. So as I said, uh, this part was not part of the original recipe. It just says, you know, you coat the chicken as they are with the mixture, you know, put the herbs on top, the salt, the pepper, and then put this into the oven. But the chicken, out of experience, I know is going to be totally white and it's not really appetizing. So what I want to do here is to give them a little coloring ever so slightly, so one tablespoon of olive oil in there, and I'm gonna slightly, slightly color or sear the chicken breast, just for a coloring, that's about it, on either side. Okay, so this is the coloring I'm going for. Don't spend any more than five minutes doing this. It is just for a light tone, so when we open the parcel, it's gonna be more enjoyable to look at, but that's it. I'm gonna take them out, put them on the plate. Now, this is also not part of the recipe, but this is me being meat, totally optional, because some of you have been asking, oh, can you show an improved version like doing two recipes? It's too much, uh, you know, time and effort. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my version straight off and tell you when it's optional. So what I'm doing here, I'm searing the, the breast, which you don't have to do, and I'm just using one shallot to capture all of the fat and the meat juices and leave this to cook for one or two minutes and I'm gonna add this in the parcel with the chicken. It doesn't take long at all. And now for the mixture of cream and mustard, ultra super simple. You're gonna take all of the creme fraiche. If you don't have creme fraiche, by the way, you can use any kind of double cream or anything that's thick. Okay, so you get the creme fraiche. You get the mustard. I'm trying to do my best to use most of it. And with that, pepper, and salt. When it's all in, take a whisk, and you're gonna mix the whole lot. That's about it. It's a lot of mustard. Yes, it's normal. As soon as your cream is ready, your chicken is cold, you're ready to make your little parcel. Make sure before you start, or even before that, to preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius, okay? And with the fan force on. The papillote, the parcel, is all about having fun. Okay, so you can put all kinds of ingredients. I've got a piece of parchment paper. It's a square, it's a rectangle kind of thing. And we're gonna take some of the cream here and you're gonna coat each side of the chicken. And that's the first step. So I'm gonna turn it over and do the same on the other side. I've already made a mess, but it doesn't matter. When you're here, it is really up to you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some of these uh, shallots that I have, the sauté shallots. I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme so this is the fresh thyme that I've plucked and just the, the thyme, uh, the, kind of the florets or the, the flowers, a little bit of uh, parsley, okay? So, so plenty of herbs in here and maybe an additional bit of a grind of some uh, salt and pepper. And again, 
If you want to infuse, you can add a few peppercorns, real ones. Don't, don't leave them after they, they can't be eaten because you're going know, to break your, your teeth on there. And if you want as well, you know, for instance, you can put a piece of lemon or anything like that. Okay? Simple. You can, of course, vary the type and the elements you put in there. So this one, instead of putting a slice of lemon, I'm going to think, oh, you know what? I'm going to add a drizzle of lemon juice and perhaps a bit of olive oil. So I'm going to take a drizzle of olive oil on top and that's going to be it. That's going to be my other version. You can put a bit of chili in there. You can put some basil. It's up to you, really. For the folding, I'm trying not to have my hand in front of the camera for a change. You've got your chicken, you've got your piece of paper here. You're going to fold it this way and join all the, the top like this, okay? And then you're going to try to fold the top like this one way and then make it like that. And you can do another fold to make it a bit tighter, okay? That's the first step. Once you've got your fold like this, uh, you can get it tight. You're going to grab both ends. It's like a candy, huh? and you're going to turn and make a kind of a candy, <laughs> a candy-like thing, which is the papillote, you see? It's a little candy. <laughs> so look at that, in no time, our little bonbons, as we call them in France, are ready. And all what's left to do, of course, is to cook them. So I'm going to cook these for about 20 minutes in the oven, 180 degrees Celsius. Again, I'll put the equivalent on Fahrenheit on the screen. And you want to make sure that the core temperature of the meat is at least about 65. So you can plant one of these food thermometers through the paper towards the end of the cooking to make sure it's cooked. But don't overdo it because you can take them out and let them rest a bit, okay, for everything to infuse and cool down. And the temperature will still rise after that. So sometimes 60 Celsius plus a resting time is enough. Okay, so I'll cook this and uh, then we'll unwrap and <laughs> see what it looks like. Would you look at this? The chicken is ready and I decided to rename this into the chicken surprise. It's a bit like a present, isn't it? <laughs> you want to see the thing. So this is how you serve it. You see there's some kind of juice in there and you can either use a, a scissor and cut over here. Yeah, you make an opening and you, you unwrap, but I think I'm just gonna unwrap the whole thing. Let me help you with that wrapper, chicken. And ooh, look at that. And inside comes the beautifully creamy kind of sauce. Now be careful with the size of the paper because you see what happens if it's a guest. It's not a problem, you could add and eat on the paper, but it's a kind of a bit odd. But for the sake of demonstration, this is it. This is the chicken, it's bathing in that sauce. Okay, you've got all the little garnish. It has kind of steam. Huh? So what I'm gonna do here is uh, have a go. Cut a few slices. Ooh, it's tender. And then have a little bite. So try to bring your little closer to the action. Um, that would go perfectly with last week. Uh, broccoli and cauliflower gratin. I'm going to make a mess again. Mm, yeah. So definitely moist, not dry. And uh, yeah, it's a simple sauce and cream and mustard. And Tom, um, I think it's a good trio. You know, it's a, it's a nice combination. It's not too strong. That's the one with the lemon juice. There's a little bit of a tang into it, but actually, it's really, really, you know, it's, it's really nice. I think maybe the fact that I've seared something in there has helped for the flavor to develop a little bit with the shallot. Um, but it works, you know, it works. And with a, a side of green beans, potato, maybe tagliatelle, you can put that sauce of a pasta, like a nice tagliatelle, and you unwrap the pasta around the sauce with the chicken. Mmm. That would be lovely. So what can we say about this dish? First off, it is ultra simple to make. I like the fact that this is a bit of a party trick and you can make it in advance if you get people coming over. When you unwrap, of course, it's that superb effect. You wonder what's going to be inside. You can really vary the flavors if you want. There's a lot of freedom and that will pair beautifully with last week uh, broccoli and cauliflower gratin. I put the link on the screen and the video description. But you can also have pastas, green beans, potatoes. For an everyday dish, honestly, this is brilliant, it really works. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, if you want to support us, use Patreon to become a Patreon. You can join our courses online and if you want to share your picture, use the hashtag French Cook Academy on Instagram. As for me, I will see you next week again on the adventure, on the ride for the true home cooking from France. I'll see you then next week. Take care all. Bye-bye. Thank you.